Good you. to see you, Ali. Thank you for joining us at Informatica World. Really appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you so much. Really glad to be here. Great to see you. Know, obviously, Spark has been a topic of huge interest to us for a long time. I think we talked about how Michael Franklin, who was uh, a professor at Berkeley at the time, uh, I think you worked with Michael then at, at Berkeley, and the Spark came out of Berkeley. He was at Informatica World in 2015. So can you talk to us a little bit about the genesis of Spark and uh, you know, how this all came about? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Uh, basically about 10 years ago at UC Berkeley, we received quite a bit of funding from the Silicon Valley tech companies, and we got to see the projects that they were working on, and it was exciting, because they were doing things very differently from the rest of the industry. Basically what these guys were doing is they were taking machine learning algorithms from the 70s that we know do not work, and they're applying massive amounts of data to it, and they were getting superhuman results. So we were super excited about this. So we said, you know, we want to take that. You know, I mean, we were Berkeley hippies. We wanted to democratize that. We wanted to open source it and spread those, you know, that technology to the world. So that's the genesis of Apache Spark. And about 2013, we decided if we really want this technology to take off, mm. we should start a company around it. Got it. So we can actually really get, you know, That's where Databricks got started on. Yeah, that was so around 2012. We started thinking about Databricks. And, you know, our goal was we were excited about the cloud. So we wanted to have technology that's just cloud native and only supports the cloud. Got so it. that was the whole idea behind uh, Databricks, to so do Spark in the cloud for all the enterprises so they can do data processing and do AI. Got it, got it. And speaking about AI, obviously we talked about how that's one of the hot topics. What customer trends are you seeing? And especially you know, as you think about how Databricks is being used to power some of these AI algorithms, et cetera, what are you guys seeing? Yeah, it's very interesting. Things are very different actually now from you know, 2012 or 2009. Now every enterprise on the planet says they want to have AI. It's crucial for them. They've seen the telltale signs of the big companies. Mm -hmm. They know they're going to be out of business if they don't actually get their AI strategy together. So every software, every service, every product will in the next 10 years be adding AI capabilities to it. Okay? So that's top of mind for everyone. But the problem is that actually turns out the hardest part of this is the data problems, mm. the data management problems. They get stuck with their data. Mm -hmm. The data is not always high quality. Uh, you know, it has reliability issues. It's siloed away. That's what you know really stopping these companies from succeeding with their AI strategy. So it turns out the hardest part of AI isn't AI. Hmm. The hardest part of AI is actually data. Well, that's actually a very good segue. That's you know has been our viewpoint, and we have seen that play out. Let me pull up a slide here that talks about how we work together. Uh, do you want to talk to this in terms of first of all your Delta Lake, what yeah. that is, and what that's the new revolution that you guys are leading? Absolutely. How what that is, and then how the Informatica portfolio plays uh, with the data, Delta Data Lake? Absolutely. Yeah, so enterprises have been collecting their data now for about five, ten years. They're collecting it in what they call data lakes. You find them all over the place. It's on-prem, in the cloud, in blob storages. They've been collecting this data. And the hope is they can do AI and they can do a lot of interesting use cases with them. Uh, but now they're actually starting to launch those projects and they're saying these projects are actually being delayed. They're having challenges. And the challenges typically have to do with data is not reliable. It doesn't have the quality it needs to have. It's a little bit garbage in, garbage mm -hmm. out. So. What we were excited about was look at the problems from scratch and see what can we do actually to help these companies make their data lakes be reliable and have high quality so that they can actually get to their AI use cases. So that's what we developed Delta Lake. So Delta Lake is a next generation open source project, next generation Spark. What it does is it adds massive reliability and quality to your data lake. Got it. So that it's ready for AI. Got it. And we're super excited about partnering with Informatica because together with the ingestion project that you have, yep. we can now get the data into Delta Lake, and you can do the transformations with the BDM product on top of it, right. and we're really excited about the catalog product that you have because all this data needs to be discoverable, it needs to be, you need to have the lineage for it, you need to have the governance for it, so we're very excited to partner with this ecosystem and have, I call it the holy grail platform for data. No, that's perfect, and I think that's what, that's what we are seeing as well. Specific customers you want to call out who, that, uh, that you've had experience with who are already starting to scale this? Yeah, I mean, I have a lot of favorite customers, but my favorite ones are actually in the healthcare industry because those are aspirational use cases. Mm. So a customer like Regeneron, they have actually the world's largest genomic Delta Lake, and they have one million patients' uh, genetic information that they actually aligned in the Delta Lake, and then they actually have phenotype databases of all the diseases of those one million patients, right. and then run machine learning on it, to find out what are, the, what are the gene sequences that are responsible for the different diseases, and then they can do drug discovery and actually target those genes and actually help cure a lot of diseases. So it's really exciting. Oh, that's great. And for the customers who have been working with Informatica for a long time, for example, as you know, one of the, our big 
value propositions is to future proof the work you do. So when you build business logic, let's say using power center or using our big data stack, et cetera, it may have been built for a Hadoop engine or it may have been built for a different engine in the past. That will run natively now on Spark and run natively on Delta Lake. Absolutely. Yeah, we're super excited about that. And we see a lot of demand from it, frankly speaking. You know, that's how we saw this partnership come about is that the, you know, customers were asking for this. They were, you wanted the catalog feature. They wanted to have an enterprise platform that worked across the different clouds that they had. So we're exactly. super excited about this. And what's the, can you give us a little bit uh, peek into the future? What's coming in the next couple of years? I mean, you guys are making tremendous progress very quickly. Yeah. So what, uh, what should our customers be looking forward if we were to talk again, let's say, in a couple of years? Yeah, well, we're super excited about where AI is headed. We've never seen this rapid uh, innovation cycle go on. So our focus is just keep reinventing ourselves. So we had Spark. We now did Delta Lake. Now we're working on the next generation projects actually around machine learning that we're doing. We think this space is going to get simplified over the next decade. So 10 years from now, machine learning will be much easier. It'll be almost, you know, with the click of a button, you can get it working. Okay. But we're not there yet. So just the focus on innovation and continuing that innovation cycle is what uh, we're, we're keeping our focus on. That's a terrific vision. I think everybody can support that. Yeah. Thanks so much for joining us, Thanks Ali. So really Thank appreciate you. it. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Big round of applause for Ali Gertzi, CEO of Databricks.